Hello and welcome back to Side High Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a mini rotating display table that you can use to display whatever you want. And this device uses a TIP122 transistor and a DC gear motor. Let's get started. And these are the items you're going to need to make for this project. The items you're going to need. A 9 volt battery clip. 10k ohm potentiometer. A TIP122 Darlington transistor. A slide switch. A 1N4007 rectifier diode. A perf board. A DC gear motor. And some cardboard. Now let's go ahead and assemble this project and let's get started. I have right here the schematic that you can use to follow to make this project. First, I'm going to start with taking the perf board and placing this 10k ohm potentiometer. Placing it right here in the front. Pushing it in. Whoops. Bend over the lead so it doesn't fall out. Solder it into place. Next, I'm going to take the 1N4007 rectifier diode, place it into the perf board, just like this. Bend over the leads, and bend the cathode lead over to the potentiometer. And solder bridge the cathode over to the potentiometer, and then solder it into place. and then solder in the anode into place. Cut off the excess. Next, I'm gonna take the 9 volt battery clip and I wanna connect the negative wire over to the cathode of the diode. Place it right here, clamp it down, bend over the lead over to the cathode, Solder it into place, and then solder bridge it over to the cathode of the diode. Next, I'm going to take the TIP122 transistor, place it into the perf board, and now bend over the base of the transistor over to the center pin of the potentiometer. Solder it into place, and I'll solder bridge it to the center pin of the potentiometer. Solder in the rest of the pins in place. Next, I'm going to bend over the collector of the transistor over to the final pin of the potentiometer. Solder bridge it to the final pin of the potentiometer, and there, the collector is now connected. Next, I'm going to take the positive wire of the 9 volt battery clip and connect it to the collector of the transistor. Place it right here, clamp it down, bend over the lead, solder it into place, and I'll solder bridge it over to the collector of the transistor. Next I'm going to take this slide switch, I want to place it right here onto the perf board, solder 10 these leads. And I'll solder the slide switch into place. Next, I'm going to take the positive wire of the 9 volt battery clip and I'm going to connect it to the slide switch. Cut the wire right here. Remove the insulation by pulling the whole thing off, which is fine. Twist the wire, bring it over to the center pin of the slide switch, cut off some excess, and there we go. Solder it to the slide switch.
make sure it goes in. There we go, perfect. Now take the second wire and connect it to the slide switch. And there, the 9 volt battery's positive is connected to the slide switch. Next, I'm going to take the DC gear motor, cut off the wires, remove the insulation, and now take one of the wires and place it next to the anode of the rectifier diode. Place it in, bend over the lead, solder it into place, and then solder bridge it to the anode of the diode. Cut off the excess. Next, take the second wire from the DC gear motor and place it next to the emitter of the transistor. Put it in place, clamp it down, bend over the lead, and now bend over the emitter lead of the transistor. Press it down, Solder bridge it together, and there the emitter of the transistor is connected to the DC gear motor. And now plug in the 9 volt battery, and there the circuit is now complete. Let's go turn on the switch and test out the circuit. Turn the potentiometer, and uh oh, it's not working. Oh, that's because the 9 volt battery clip I used was faulty. Replaced a new one, and reconnect it, and let's go ahead and test it out. Turn on the switch. Turn the potentiometer, and you will see that will turn. Perfect. As you can see, it works. And now it's time to take some cardboard and build the housing for this project. Put some hot glue on the side of the DC gear motor. Take a piece of cardboard, place it on. Repeat the same process on the opposite side. Next, I'm going to take the circuit and I want to glue it to the cardboard. Placing it right here looks good. Put some hot glue onto the cardboard. And now take the circuit and glue it into place. Take the 9 volt battery, plug it in, and I can tuck it underneath. Next I'm going to take a compass and measure out a radius of 4 centimeters. And then create a circle with a diameter of 8 centimeters. Next, I'm going to go and take some scissors and cut out the circle. And there, I have a nice circle. And this dot right here is the center of the circle. Which means I'm going to make a hole in the center of the circle, but not a hole that goes all the way through, just enough to make a dent so that way I can be able to attach it to the DC gear motor. Push it in to make another dent. Take some hot glue and fill out that dent. Put some more hot glue onto the DC gear motor. And then connect the two parts together. Try my best to make sure it stays nice and level. And there, the project is now complete. Let's go ahead and test it out. And now turn on the circuit. I can turn the potentiometer and the circuit will go off. Turn the potentiometer the opposite direction and it will go slow. Turn it up a little bit more and it will start spinning faster. Faster and faster and faster. 
And as you can see, the table is not very level, which is actually very difficult to do. However, I think it may still work, so I'm going to try my best to level it still. That looks okay level. Not level enough, but it, look, but it will work for what I'm going to use it for. Make a quick test, and I'm going to place my Proto Arduino Nano. Turn the potentiometer, and it can rotate slowly. And there, now I have a very nice rotating display table. Of course, I could have always 3D print this and make a better table so it stays more level, or took the time and took a leveler and measured the level of the table before the glue solidified. So that way it'll spin more evenly. And as you can see, this turntable is actually very useful for rotating very small objects or very light objects if you want to use it for cinematic use. Or if you want, you can always just take a toy and rotate it and display it. This has many different uses. It depends on personal preference. And there you have it. Now you know how to make your very own mini rotating display table with using a TIP122 Darling transistor and a DC gear motor. Thank you for watching SciTai Tech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.